A dementia diagnosis can feel devastating for many people. There are a lot of ways though to cope, including medications, but non-drug practices have also been shown to be more effective. In fact, there's a new manual about pathways to well-being with dementia that outlines the practices we're talking about. Yeah, so joining us now are Dr. Susan Weary and dementia advocate Lori Shearer. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. All right, so Lori, let's begin with you. Can you tell us a little bit about your diagnosis at just 55? Yeah, I was diagnosed with early dementia, um, heading towards FTD, which is frontotemporal dementia. It was devastating. I was a career person. I was very into my family, my social life, my community, and my career. And suddenly they tell you, Get your affairs in order, get ready to die, spend time with your family and make preparations. And here, take these drugs and come back in six months and let's see how much you've progressed. Wow. It's hard. It's, un it's unimaginable. Dr. Weary, talk about the mind-body practices for those living with dementia. You know, I think that a lot of good mind-body practices are similar to those for people without dementia, right? Mm -hmm. We all know that getting good, deep, restorative sleep is very important. Can't say enough about the importance of physical exercise and physical activity. And, um, and also to do things that are fun, to have leisure activity, and to manage and limit the stress that you have in your life. Okay, so Lori, you have put some of these practices into work. Tell us how they have helped you. Well, well, you know, before my diagnosis, I was a scuba diver. In fact, I, I was an assistant instructor. And we still scuba dive, but I have to do it different. Um, I walk about a mile and a half every three days. Uh, I've been uh, parasailing off of Lion Mountain in South Africa. Wow. and. Uh, I've been, I kayak, I swim, um, I'm a very active person. Dementia hasn't stopped me, it just has made me do things differently. Um, when I go scuba diving, I can't do my own equipment anymore because I might not set it up correctly. So somebody has to check me, even though I was an assistant instructor, somebody has to check me, but I still do it. I just do all my activities differently kayaking we had to buy a kayak for two uh, so my husband and i can go together i can't go alone anymore i can't walk alone anymore because i might get lost but i still do it and those activities keep me physically um, healthy and feeling better there's nothing better than being out in nature i mean nature just man just smell the roses <laughs> smell the, the air it's like yeah. that's what you need you need that excitement you yes, need that up oh you're you are just uh, so incredible um we'll talk about that though let's talk about self-care because it is important being out in nature but just taking care of ourselves overall for all ages especially when dealing with dementia uh, doctor what are some of the ways to help with well-being i think some of the critical ways to deal with well-being are to remain connected with family and friends there's no substitute for a social connection and for maintaining purpose and meaning in life. I think that um, one has to have a purpose, a reason to get up. And boy, you know, Laurie, I hope we'll have an opportunity to talk about all the ways in which Dementia Action Alliance is making that possible for people. Because to have purpose and meaning is critically important. And I think it's also, it's maybe self-evident, but is worth saying that people need to prioritize their well-being to shift the focus on staying well, not just dealing with disease. And I think the strength-based approach is what we're really trying to emphasize in Pathways. All right, I love how uh, Lori shared that she's still physically active. She just does things a little bit differently, but she's still out there doing what she loves. That's exactly right. Well, thank you both so much for being with us this afternoon. We sure appreciate it. It's so important to be talking about this. And thank you both for sharing your story. Glad to thank be you here. Thank you.